I'd like to start this off by making a statement for you and your protection. If any time during this interview you feel like you're personally attacked, please stop me. If you want your privacy protected, let me know. Everything you say in this interview is accepted as your personal opinion and judgment will not be passed. This interview is strictly for research purposes. Do you understand? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Natalie Becker. Andre Santana. Ozzy Moore. Molly McGowan. Joe Hello. Um, this is kind of oppression. In what way? <laughs> um, for me, it's used in order to. Um, Basically, to essentialize individuals based on like the biological, like their phenotypes. You know, it's about essentializing them based on their phenotypes and giving them meaning that they haven't. They're imposing meaning on them, and it, it's a form of oppression, basically. It's mm. bad. I guess like stereotyping of like what it would mean to be a guy or a girl in society. Like a woman being like a mom figure, like a wife or like a sexual object. Mm -hmm. And a man as the provider and the breadwinner and like masculine, strong, etc. My sister and I, I guess, are like specific types of like girls within the gender roles. Like neither of us are ever super, super girly or like mm -hmm. into like fashion and makeup and mm. shopping and my mom is very much like stay at home housewife mom mm -hmm. and she's got a lot of like internalized misogyny and I wouldn't really say so my parents got divorced when I was six years old and since then my mom has been both my dad and my mom and additionally she's been very strong so well I guess I'm like a typical girl like girl girl, girl shopping yeah. um, my brother I would say he's really, he's very humble and timid. I had met people before coming here who, who didn't identify as their birth gender. And, like, it, it wasn't a problem for me. I'm not, like, against anyone. It was interesting. Like, it's mostly new to me. You, like, people think that I would meet a lot of these kinds of people, considering that I'm from Seattle, which is, like, a liberal place. But I mean, it was mostly new to me, but um, it was interesting. Um, have you ever met someone who identifies outside of the gender binary, or doesn't identify as their assigned gender? Yep. What did you think of them when you first met them? To be honest, I thought it was really weird. Mm -hmm. I thought that, I mean, you were born as a girl or a boy for a reason, like, why, why not just go with it? Like. Was it like a mental disorder? Like, what is going on there? Like, I don't understand. Now, I think, I don't know, I, I feel like there's something to it, but I don't think it's like abnormal since it's commonly seen present day. But I would say, like, it's, I don't know, something's just kind of off about it to me. I feel like there's recently like a growing acceptance of like the LGBT community at large. Um, but there's definitely prejudices, and there's definitely like, it's definitely harder for people like that to get work um, in certain fields. And um, I guess everything that comes with people not understanding you, there's biases. Mainstream, United States, Western, whatever, um, just like has a very strong reaction to people who identify very strongly outside of any perceived norms. And um, especially because it's like very important to people to be able to know a lot about someone just by looking at them. If mm -hmm. there's something that they aren't sure about, it's like they just can't deal with it. I mean, I guess, I guess a really important question is whether we would still look at other stuff like race or um, I don't know anything like what, like what kind of clothes you wear. You know, like are you upper class because you have like this expensive bag or are you lower class, you know, because you're in rags, you know, just like making stereotypes based on these uh, just appearances. Like it, I mean, we could eliminate gender altogether and that would be a huge progress, but there's still all this other stuff that's holding everything back, so. It would be better because you would have a society where people can climb up and succeed in any way, any culture given 
and if someone was like, oh, I feel like acting this way, that way, it's it's like trained to the personality. It's not like trained to like, oh, that's wrong because you're a girl. It's wrong because you're a guy. Some people just think it would be like a really wonderful utopia, um, and some people think it would be bad because it's like trying to lump everyone together and not have the like the means of expression. And I mean, personally, I think it might be a good thing in some ways because, like, if you can't judge someone based on their gender like that's you can't necessarily discriminate against them because of that and you can't like make lots of assumptions about them based on their gender there really isn't much of a way for me to predict the specificity of how society would be different because i feel like in itself not recognizing someone immediately for their gender would also mean that that person has the chance to um personally expand and grow and develop and that would mean that they are bringing forward to society um, ideas, innovations, things like that that they not only didn't have before but probably might have not been able to conceptualize even. <laughs> so we could live in this like fantastic place with flying cars. I think that it would be better if it's like, if we could get to that point um, in like a safe way. Mm -hmm. I think that sometimes when people try to effectuate change it's too sudden and that there's it's a it's a lot to just take away an entire like way that people see each other and it would have to be done like very gradually and very well and it wouldn't like work until everyone really didn't put people into these boxes if that were to happen that would be better for people to be able to explore themselves and what like what their life means rather than how to be like male or female or any of those Well, I've read a lot of things about this on Tumblr. Sometimes it's hard to find the words to say. I'll go ahead and say them anyway. Forget your balls and grow a pair of tits. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard out here for a bit.